Hello, hello, guys. Welcome back to Gift Diversity TV. Uh, this is your host, Gift Bozekana. Uh, don't forget to like this video, give us thumbs up, just like, and don't forget to leave a nice comment. But the most important thing, don't forget to subscribe. As you see that we are almost there on 100,000 subscribers here on uh, Gift Varsity TV, the most important channel in the country. I want to say also in Africa, right? So today, basically, we'll be talking about the industry that has been here for many, many years, right? That has shown creativity amongst people because uh, mining engineering has been has been there, like the mining of gold, diamonds, and all of the minerals that are available today have been existing for many, many years, right? So today we'll be talking about mining engineering, which also contributes a lot to the GDP of the country, you know, and it's one of the most rewarding professions as we know that in South Africa there are a lot of mines and that skill that mining engineers have, it's very important. But mining engineering as a discipline, it focuses on making sure that it equips the professionals with uh, the, the, the mining plan, mine plan, mining design, mineral processing, like all of the stuff, mixing different things that are going to make it possible to extract the minerals from the earth, right? It can be an out mine, like the open cast mining, or you can even work underground. But I want to tell you something, guys, just because you're studying mining engineering doesn't mean that you're always going to be underground. You can choose whether you want to work underground we're going to discuss the opportunities, the jobs that we might want you to work underground. Or you can choose to work outside. You can even work in banks. You can become a financial analyst. So do not have that mindset. Just because I did a mining engineering course, probably at VETS or UP or uh, UJ, I'm just going to be stuck underground. But if you love being a gold digger, a qualified one, <laughs> then right. But let, let's go to the requirements of mining engineering in these universities. So there are about four universities that offer mining engineering. We have University of Witwatersrand, which is Vets University in Johannesburg. Uh, it offers a BSc in uh, BNG, Bachelor of Science in Engineering of Mining Engineering, and also University of Pretoria. It offers BNG in mining engineering, right? I think it's BNG, yes. And then, uh, then we have uh, University of uh, uh, Johannesburg, which offers a BNG tech in mining engineering for three years. So at VET University, it's four years minimum to complete, four years at University of Pretoria, and three years at University of Johannesburg. I think there's also a diploma uh, in, in mining engineering at a uh, university of south africa which is unisa that one i'm not quite uh, knowledgeable about but we'll be discussing the three universities right we're gonna start at vet university located in johannesburg bramfontein uh, main campus that's where you will find the mining engineering uh school of mining engineering right so to be able to be admitted in that program for maths, physics, and English, very important because they look at them. So uh, on their website, they return that they want level five in maths, level five in physics, level five in uh, English. But I want to tell you, for you to make a cut, like to stand out of competition, please, you must get distinction or level six minimum, right? If you have level five ish. You would be on a waiting list and imagine how many students have applied to study mining engineering if you think there are a lot. So that's the requirement. Advanced University takes four years, 
you have your curriculum there on the website it will tell you that your first year majority of the first year programs or all of the first year common there's common first year events where all engineering students they do the same or similar subjects then as the year progresses the years progresses they uh, choose uh, uh, other subjects right like they mainly focus on their own discipline if it's mining engineering so we're gonna do other disciplines again on this channel keep on watching then we go to university of pretoria in Hatfield, right in pretoria so level six in maths requirement level six in physics and level five in english so you must get distinction guys don't meet the minimum requirement alone you know but i know you're waiting for your results so you are then i will go to university of johannesburg university of johannesburg there's bn tech guys i think you must do a research between the difference between bn tech and uh what and bsc Eng and the bachelor of engineering right so let's go to now the career jobs with mining engineering i don't want to lie to you guys i was interviewing uh, mining engineer graduates this year if you can go back to a uh, mining engineering advance all of those graduates are working so meaning that it's a good discipline to follow right they say you can be a blasting engineer blasting <laughs> yeah you can be a blasting engineer a consulting mine engineer a financial analyst right because you also learn to <coughs> Uh, manage the finances there you can be a mine manager imagine you manage a whole mine you can be a mine design engineer you can design an entire mine you can be a mineral resource manager you can be a project manager but this one <laughs> you can be a rock engineer so there's a lot of opportunities when it comes to mining engineering is it worth it yes it's worth it to choose and having a career in mining engineering it won't be the bad decision you've ever done but it will be the best decision because also this uh, portion of the economy is playing a key role in our country and still today we have your mine coal gold platinum iron so there are a lot of things that are still utilized today and they are very valuable and still mining engineering is still relevant so to all the prospective mining engineers i want to say hey do your best and hope to see you studying mining engineering very soon at vets uj up even at unisa if you manage to get in that diploma thank you so much for watching give a nice comment and don't forget to subscribe like and share thank you so much bye